During that interim, Mr. Norris had rented two floors for our Stanley Cup party. And then, the, and did we have a party? We, we did celebrate. And the next day, uh, we, we went out to the airport, we got on the airplane, we flew back to Chicago, and we went right from the airport in Chicago to City Hall. And I had to meet Mira Daly after being on an all-night party with my guys. And I'll never forget that. That was, uh, that was kind of difficult. <laughs> When the Hawks won the Stanley Cup in 61, people thought it would last forever, not only on the team, but their, at that point, very loyal audience. The stadium was filled. You couldn't get a ticket until the mid-70s. Today, so many years afterwards, they're kind of forgotten. It's because they didn't repeat and win again in 62 when they had a good chance, in 65 when they got to Game 7 of the final, in 67 when they were the... Prince of Wales champions for the first time ever in 71 when they got the game seven of the final and in 73 when they got the game six and again lost as they did in 65 and 71 to Montreal. That's why they're the forgotten champions. They shouldn't be forgotten. They were a great team but they didn't repeat and as dynasties go in hockey the Blackhawks were a dynasty that never happened. Those 22,000 fans came to see their Chicago Blackhawks and when you have uh, fans coming to see you play and they don't care who you're playing that's when you have a successful franchise and those 15 years that I played here uh, in front of the greatest fans in the world the Chicago uh, Blackhawk fans uh, they're they they were second to none playing for the fans in Chicago you better be ready to play because they're they're ready and uh, I don't think there's, there are any fans better than the, than, than the Chicago Blackhawks fans. And I'm going back to the old stadium with, with all that charisma and all those memories going back to people like Sonia Heaney and Joe Lewis. And now you've got the Chicago Blackhawks. And now they are Stanley Cup champions. Wow. What more could you ask of a city than to, to support six professional franchises? The greatest fans in all the world. The 1961 Blackhawks established the sport of hockey in Chicago as one of the hottest tickets in town for the next 15 years. During that era, the Hawks went to the finals four more times and won two Prince of Wales regular season titles in addition to Western Division titles. But for the special accomplishment of winning the Cup in 61 and the influence that it had on the sport, they should not remain the forgotten champs.